What would be your expectations if we were to see a change in the administration? Would you have more of an, an upside target on... And I'm not just talking about Lockheed, but I'll, I'll broaden out to the rest of the defence industry because there's, there's a lot of flux in who's going to be the next president and then what their strategic priorities would then be. You would assume that, uh, that might seem counterintuitive, that the Democrats are probably better for the defence industry than, say, a Republican getting in power. It's a fantastic question. So I, I think that the challenge with questions like that is like really, really difficult to model how much it changes. And then you also have uh, the conflicts that are out there. So do the conflicts change with the administration? Do the conflicts go away some? There, there's a lot of kind of push and pull in terms of like what happens and, and modeling that is, is, is sometimes a little noisy. Uh, but, you know, looking over the long term, looking over, uh, you know, say a, a two to three to four year period, it certainly looks like uh, things look good for them. I, I think the bearish case would be, hey, look, you know, Russia, Ukraine gets resolved. North Korea stops uh, launching ICBMs. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the administration says, well, look, maybe we don't need to spend as much. But, but even in that scenario, uh -huh. some of these contracts are so long term, it's going to take a while for that to unwind and for this to stabilize. Now, prices would probably reflect that uh, more quickly and valuations would probably come down. But we, we just don't see that potential is, is kind of the base case right now.